Hi and welcome to this special live video. Now just to let you know why my eyes are going everywhere. We've got Facebook Live and we've also got an Instagram Live. So we've got two live streams going in one go at the moment. So this is a question and answer session guys. So have you got any questions? Feel free to ask away your questions on diet, fitness, lifestyle, whatever you want to ask tonight, whatever your questions. We're having a Sunday social. I've decided we're not going to have a subject. Whatever you want to ask, guys, we're going to have a little chat. That is the theme. So as I said, for those of you joining us, we're live on Facebook and we're also live on Instagram. This is why my eyes keep going like this. Um, so I'll be saying hello to everybody. So hi, Kay. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Liz. Hi, Michael. Hi, Bev. Right, first question on Facebook from Kay is, is it okay to eat pizza? Now, there's lots of ways to, um, first of all, let's talk about 80-20. So remember, 80% of the time we eat healthy. 20% of the time we can eat whatever you like. So if you do love Domino's pizza or you do love a chocolate Easter egg pizza like I know that Kay's been making tonight, then it's fine. It can fit in. You know, you've got to, you've got to enjoy your life. Uh, but we've all seen um, the tortilla pizza, so maybe the 100 calorie base, so that's a good way. Low fat cheese and obviously tomatoes and vegetables to make it all nice, so that is a, a good way. So the answer is yes, Kay, you can. Uh, Bev's got a question here on Instagram Live, and that is, Jody, how are you staying motivated during this time? Now, Bev, because I'm a coach and a lot of personal trainers as well, we're just giving all the time, giving, 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 giving. So we generally get left behind at the end of it. And this is why you get so many fitness instructors uh, and Weight Watchers coaches or Slimming World coaches that are obese. And the reason is because they are focusing on others. They haven't actually got time to focus on myself. So this is what's really motivating me at the moment. And this is why I'm doing so well. It's just because I've got all this time. Like... I don't know about you, but I constantly have a to-do list and I dream of having enough time to like tick all these things. And I'm actually, I'm living the dream at the moment because I'm actually having time to do everything I've been wanting to do for years and years and years. So um, I know it's quite, quite selfish, some people might be thinking, especially if you're on the front line and stuff like that. Um, but I'm just making a positive and obviously no, many people out there have not got a job, especially I'm self-employed, um, so it's very hard on that aspect. But as I said, I'm just making it into a great situation for myself and really focusing on just the future and what I can achieve. So that is the answer. I hope that's answered for you, Bev. What I would give you guys out there motivation to keep you going is, you know, what do you really want? For me to be a great coach and to be a great fitness instructor, I've got to be thinner. You know, I've got to be slimmer and I've got to be healthier. So I do know um, that doing this, you know, is really going to help my uh, future. Uh, let me just say a quick hi to the other people joining us. It's a live question and answer session, so feel free to ask. Welcome to Leslie. Hi, Abbo. You're waving your little hand there on Facebook. Hi, Claire. Hi Helen, hi Natasha, hi Rob and hi Liz. Well done again to Liz everybody. She has lost half a stone in the last four weeks. Now we've got a question from Rob on Facebook Live. Uh, even Nutella topped with banana, pineapple and chocolate egg. We're talking about the pizza question. So is it okay to eat pizza? Um, Rob, if you and Kay are using up all your East chocolates, then yes, just get rid of it all in one go that's definitely my top tip for that so definitely throw on whatever you like let me just read those toppings again because i'm going to try and you know i want to think about this picture in my head nutella banana yeah that goes well pineapple pineapple and nutella could work and chocolate eggs well chocolate eggs they work on anything to be honest with you don't they so that's not a problem so I would quite like to try that, but I won't why I'm in this focus mind. Welcome Tina to Facebook Live, uh, and Bev on Instagram Live is saying well done. 
great attitude. Thank you, Bev. Uh, and welcome to the live video, uh, Leslie. Right, so as I said, guys, if you've got any questions to ask, now I've had a few questions that people have been asking me previously. Um, so why I've got nothing to answer, I will uh, tell you the other question. People have been asking me about Fitbits. Okay, now I have a Charge 3. Um, now, Charge 4 has just come out. Uh, a Charge 3 is um, between 80 and 90 pounds, and the new Charge 4 is 130 pounds, I've seen. Um, and one of the biggest things for me is the fact that it lasts seven days. So I thought if the Charge 4 lasts longer than seven days, I'll probably buy it. Because as you know, if you've got a Fitbit, charging it is the most annoying thing. Well, the, the Charge 4 actually only lasts seven days. And reading the description, I can't see any benefits of the Charge 4. So if you are still um, looking at buying a Fitbit, they've just reduced the price of the Charge 3. So it, the, the best thing about it, uh, not only is it charged for seven days, lasts for seven days, it's also got the heart rate monitor on as well. So uh, that was my answer about Fitbits, guys, because a few people have asked about that. Um, Michael, thank you. Keep it up and bless me. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, Stacy. Hello, Ali, who's joined us on Instagram Live. Welcome to this live video. Um, question and answers. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Hi Jane, welcome. Um, on Insta if you've never gone on Instagram Live, you're allowed to wave at people when they join. So I'm just waving at the people on Instagram. I can't do that on Facebook Live, so I'll have to manually wave at you on Facebook Live. Uh, as I said, this is a social this evening. We're just having a little chat. I've got my water. I've just posted on Facebook, if you haven't seen it, that I'm down to 15 stones for the first time in 15 years which is just shocking it is shocking in a great way you know I was so happy to see those numbers 15 I could actually cry when I got on the scales because you know still even though you know it's my life and I talk talk about weight loss and stuff like that all the time it's still hard really hard to lose a pound and this is why for those of you who follow my Instagram stories this is why I celebrate so much when I lose a pound because it is a bloody achievement choosing healthy food every meal time three times a day is really hard work so um, it is a good achievement. I am really proud of myself, guys. So if you are out there feeling, you know, that you are really struggling, then it's not just you. It is hard work. And I shared something in my um, clients group the other day, which was really good. And that was about that nothing in nature um, blossoms all year round as well. So if you do have a season where you lose weight better, then don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, generally, the summer always works for me. When I look up back over my uh, weight losses in the summer, it always works for me. So um, that's again, it's just this combination of having the time to to exercise and cook and things like that, combining with um, what's happening has obviously worked for me. Oh, and you can wave back. Jane's waved back to me on Instagram Live as well. So as I said, welcome for those of you just joining us. Um, I've got some more. Somebody asked me about scanning. They just don't understand MyFitnessPal. Um, if you've never used MyFitnessPal before, especially if you've come in from the world of Weight Watchers, um, it's MyFitnessPal is Weight Watchers for free. It's basically an app that's free to download. It's called MyFitnessPal if you search it. It's got a barcode scanner. It's got a it tells you how many calories to eat. Uh, it's got exercise plans, it's got mind plans, so basically it's free Weight Watchers. So if you can't afford Weight Watchers at the moment, um, then MyFitnessPal is a great alternative to give it a go. And it educates you and teaches you about calories as well. And the most exciting thing for me, it's got a barcode scanner. So, you know, when I was with Weight Watchers, my exciting part of the day used to be scanning things in the supermarket. So if you do like doing those things, you can still do that with MyFitnessPal. Um, I'm drinking sparkling water. Uh, Kay did say the other day that um, I was showing off because I was dual drinking water. It really is one of the secrets. Um, I haven't said to some of you before about this. Um, my number one tip for anybody who wants to lose weight is just start drinking more water. 
Uh, and my friend Natasha, who I run the Fat Factor with years ago, it's so important. One time, um, we had a group of slimmers and we didn't give them any nutritional information. We didn't tell them to change anything in their whole routine, the whole life. The only thing they had to do on week one was to drink more water. Because when you drink more water, you eat less food, you drink less calories. You know, drinking water, it just automatically changes your lifestyle. It helps your digestion, it helps your mind. So if you are at the stage where you just, you know, you're sick and tired of trying lots of stupid different things and you're trying this and doing this and eating this, you know, this, your life's just so busy, just do one thing this week, guys, and that is just to drink more water. And I promise you, it will change your life. And Ali is asking now on Instagram to on live, uh, give me some water, please. Okay, so open up, Ali. It's time to pour some water on Instagram live into you. Cheers. And for those of you who have seen uh, my posts about water, I drink sparkling water. I drink uh, normal flat water, and I also drink hot water as well. So especially in the morning. Uh, for those of you who've seen my breakfast tray, I have my porridge and they also have a big glass of water, so a pint of water in a calling glass. And they also have a cup of hot water. So just surround yourself around water all the time. Even next to my bed, uh, you'll see that I have um, a bottle of water as well because often I wake up in the middle of the night really dry uh, or first thing in the morning I'm really dry as well. So literally just put water all around your house ready to absorb it. For those of you just joining us, we are doing a Instagram Live on this camera and we're doing a Facebook Live on this camera. So if you'd like to ask us any questions today, um, I've just been sharing today my uh, weight loss. So this week I've lost three pounds, which in total is 15 stones and two pounds down from my heaviest, which was 31 stones. And I've got left to go um, two stones and 10 pounds. So my goal is 13 stone two, which is my BMI, okay? So for those of you who might be worried, this is gonna to be too slim. Um, now I've shared something on purpose on Facebook tonight, and that is my body fat percentage. So my body fat percentage currently is 29%, which again, I'm really pleased with because for so long, basically for the last 15 years of my life, my body fat percentage has been 50%. Um, and because I've been working so hard the last couple of months, or well, the last five months, um, I brought that down to under now 30%, which I'm really proud of. And anybody in the diet and exercise industry, we all know that a body fat percentage is a much healthier scale to work on um, than your actual weight. Uh, and just talking about body fat percentage, again, my private group of my slimmers, uh, I did share with them that Aldi have reduced their body fat scales down to 9.99. So if you've never done a body fat percentage test before, um, I would definitely recommend uh, spending a little bit more and buying some nice body fat percentage scales because it's really nice to see how healthy you are on the inside, not just going by clothes and stuff like that. Because to be honest with you, especially my older Aqualaders, I love them so much, but whenever I lose weight, they're the first one... We like you like this. Please don't lose any more weight. You're just so cute. We love your chubby cheeks. We love to touch your chubby cheeks like this. Um, so if anybody is telling you you, you are losing too much weight, uh, I would really say to you, you can either obviously have a quick chat with your doctor. Now, your doctor loves to talk about your weight. You know, your doctors, they, they're just depressed talking about bad things all the time but if you go in there and actually talk about your weight in a nice positive healthy way your doctor will definitely give you some feedback about that uh, and they may have the you know the scalp or body fat test as well so they can do that one uh, but definitely looking at your body fat percentages are really healthy not only mentally but physical way uh, to looking at your weight loss so questions guys have you got any questions today for me feel free to ask uh, i have been out in the garden in the sunshine this is why i'm a little bit red today i hope you're all getting outside 
which is why when I was doing the Facebook um, live workouts, this is why I was going outdoors at 12 noon, because this way you're ticking so many boxes. Uh, you're not only ticking your exercise box by working out outdoors, uh, you are getting your uh, fresh air, so it's good for your heart and lungs and things like that. And then the third one, you're getting the vitamin D. So even if it's cloudy outside, just having the daylight on your skin, your skin um, will absorb the vitamin D. Now the other thing we can chat about, which has been uh, topical today on the news, is that coronavirus, one of the main things that are pe leading people to be susceptible is obesity. So what do we think about that, guys? So all I would say is it's like um, all the other health issues, diabetes, um, cancer, stuff like that. It's being overweight is just leaving your body more susceptible. And I'm getting really serious here. Um, but yeah, this is another reason. And obviously they said tonight when they were talking, they said, oh, does that mean everybody should go on a diet then? And they obviously said, no, you shouldn't go on a crash diet. But again, this is where going back to basics, uh, why I call my diet plan the great grandmother diet, because it is all about going back to basics. So instead of cutting all fat and all sugar out of your body, uh, just start to eat more healthily. Now, I do get quite a lot of questions about nutrition. Um, we just spoke, for those of you just joining us, uh, we just spoke a few moments ago about water being the number one thing to improve. Secondly, what I would do, there's, there's two little tips here. Um, processed carbohydrates, we all know that a lot of people who have a lot of bread or have a lot of pasta, digestionally, and they just don't feel great as well. So if that is something that you could remove, so bread or any gluten, wheat products, that's a great one to remove. But the second one is pasta as well, because sometimes people can just replace bread with pasta, and obviously it's practically the same both of them are highly processed and people often ask you know what should I replace it with a lot of people replace it with gluten-free pasta or gluten-free bread actually you're much better just trying to leave it out so for instance having more uh, green vegetables and actually having more protein having more meat so you're not replacing it with anything uh, because that would just have the same calories there um, so try and see it in a different way uh, if you do really love um, complex carbohydrates, then having things like potatoes and brown rice are much healthier than having rice, than having pasta and bread. So those are two little switches you can do. However, as I said earlier, you're not really cutting down your calories by when you're swapping it for something. You're much better to have something more nutritious even than potatoes and brown rice so welcome to tina claire jill natasha hi guys welcome to our live feed tonight we are doing a q a question and answer live here on facebook live and we're on instagram live as well we're dual living i've never done this before um, how we all been doing with our workouts guys I know a lot of you especially my slimmers are all doing the Joe Wicks which I'm really pleased with a lot of fitness instructors have been slagging him off saying oh um, you know he's stealing our clients he's doing this that and the other I actually think it's great you know if actually, his setup is great you know the, the quality of what he's doing is great I wish he'd do it to music I can't do his workout because I just find it boring because it hasn't got music but if you're with people there you know if you've got if you're isolating with someone or you're doing it with kids you actually probably don't need music because you'll just entertain each other while you're doing it Natasha's sending in <laughs> the love heart eyes uh, and she's loving the dual live have you ever done a dual live before <laughs> Natasha <laughs> so yeah so that's my feedback on Joe Wicks and again, for those of you who do follow my Instagram, big congratulations to Joe Wicks. He got a million subscribers on YouTube the other day. One million subscribers. Uh, for those of you who know anything about YouTube, that is a lot of money that he's now getting for doing just doing what he's doing. So you don't understand how YouTube money works. Basically, you get like zero point zero one of a penny per
per view. So that's a very tiny amount of money. But obviously when you get a million people watching your video, that's where it starts to turn into hundreds of thousands of pounds. So uh, for those of you who don't understand why so many people push people into YouTube, this is why. Um, Linda has joined us. Hi, Linda. Lots of love to Linda. Uh, Natasha's saying she has done dual live before. <laughs> Right, guys, any other questions before we go? Um, I'm really excited about the concert tonight. It's on at quarter past seven, so I'm doing this on purpose before the concert. If you don't know anything about the concert, it's the Lady Gaga one that she did in America. Uh, the BBC are showing the British version tonight, so that's going to be really exciting. Quarter past seven on BBC One. Uh, what other things have people been watching? I've been this is a social, by the way. It's not an actual question and answer on diet and fitness. We're allowed to talk about anything. Um, so I'm going to talk about The Nest. Did anybody watch that? It was really great. I really enjoyed watching that. If you haven't seen it, it's on BBC One uh, on iPlayer if you want to catch up on that. Um, so just shocking. You could never even like understand what was going to happen. It was really like, wow. But I really enjoyed watching The Nest. So definitely catch up on that. Um, there's a few things that I've tried to watch, but not really. Devs, I watched the first one of that. I wasn't really that keen. And Noughts and Crosses as well. I started the first one and I haven't continued that. So, um, Natasha's saying she's watching Orange is the New Black. Has anybody seen that? I've not even heard about that. What is that on, Natasha? Is that on Netflix? Talking about Netflix, I did uh, download um, Tiger King. If you haven't watched Tiger King, it is amazing. And the best thing about Tiger King, the guy is such a freak. It actually made me look at myself and, and I'm, I'm like, I really don't want to be that sort of gay. <laughs> I don't want to be portrayed as being that sort of gay. So... This is why, literally, I stopped doing Facebook Lives for a couple of days because I was like, do people perceive me to be, be like that? How can, I st how can I not be like him? You know, his boyfriend, like, shoots himself in front of the people at work and, oh, God, his whole life was just so crazy. I'm just, you know, part of my mission is to be everything not like that as well. So makes me not want to go to America when I watch all these shows as well. I just love being British and I want to be British. Uh, but again, if you haven't watched Tiger King, uh, I would definitely recommend uh, watching it. Um, what do we all think about Carol? <laughs> hi, hi kiddies. <laughs> She's just so fake, wasn't she? Which again, for those of you who uh, do do social media as well, it's really important not to be uh, that fake. So... Again, it may uh, give you some helpful things on how to do social media a little bit better. Um, and Tasha's saying it's on Netflix and it's about a woman's prison. <laughs> it's good. So that's Orange is the New Black on Netflix um, about a woman's prison. So that sounds amazing. I'll definitely uh, look that up. Um, the other things that uh, I have downloaded... Um, that Russian uh, spy one as well, which I'm going to look at. And then the other thing my Russian friend told me to download, which is a British series called Sex Education. Has anybody seen that? That's meant to be really funny. She was like crying with that, and her English is not even that great, but it was able to translate. So I've downloaded Sex Education, and I will have a little look at that. So, oh, it's turned into like a TV and film review. I'm quite liking this. For those of you who've run out of films to watch, I've uh, seen on the BBC iPlayer, they've also got Paddington 2. So if you've got kids, even if you haven't got kids, um, I watched Paddington 2 at the cinema and I really enjoyed it. So I definitely recommend a little bit of Paddington 2. Right guys, so for those of you just joining us, this is a question and answer session. My name is Jodie Bunting. <laughs> 
<laughs> and if you haven't done it already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting, because I only need 28 more subscribers, and then I start earning £50 a month. So, you know, I don't want to beg you, but please subscribe to my YouTube channel, because my source of income, which is practically zero could be 50 pounds a month just in 28 more subscribers this is how this is why i'm literally begging people now to subscribe to my youtube it is free by the way you don't need to pay anything you just literally click click subscribe right linda's asking a question on instagram live i'm impressed that you're on instagram live uh linda can i just say that first of all uh afterlife ricky gervais season two starting this month so Afterlife, I'll have to little, have a little look at that. The other one that started last Monday was series three of, um, oh, what's her name? Killing Eve. So, again, the first episode, it wasn't like amazing, amazing, but again, because I've, I've had quite a lot of Russian friends from when I was working in Egypt, just to see how, like, cutthroat they are, I actually quite enjoy Killing Eve, because it just shows you the... The, the mental, how mentally strong Russian people are um, when they're trying to kill you is a little bit scary, but actually they are mentally strong for things like coronavirus as well, which is great. Which is why I think, you know, because they are so positively focused, um, this is why they may not have been susceptible to the virus early on, but now they've got it everywhere, haven't they? Um, hi to my Russian friends, Rima and Jane, who will be watching at some point so has anybody seen afterlife um, Linda was saying it's starting this month so maybe I have to have a look at season one just to to catch up on that um, other films to download guys that I've been watching um, I didn't realize because when I was in Egypt I missed a lot of films and stuff like that just because you're just not in the loop and I saw that, um, have you watched a film called Grimsby? I've downloaded it. It's basically Ali G character, isn't it? And I didn't realise he made this film called Grimsby. So I'm really looking forward to watching that. That'll be um, a funny one. The other things that I've, um, oh, this was, it was, this is good. You guys, dieters out there, this is a great film. It's called The Platform. It is a horror and people literally do eat each other. But if, you, if you're into food and eating, you will love this. Basically, it's a prison. These people are in a prison in the future. It's on lots of different levels. And the food comes down from the top layer and keeps going down. And you can eat from the platform. And basically, because all the people on the top of the platform are eating too much, the people on the bottom of the pot a platform starve but then every 30 days everybody gets moved around so people go from starving to death to like living as a king eating as much as they like and I just I don't know it is quite um, I don't want to use swear you know I don't like to swear but it is quite messed up the fact that you know literally if you're on the 200th floor the people literally start to eat each other which is like really disgusting to watch but a real eye-opener so as i said that's my film recommendation for those of you who like horrors and thrillers and it's called the platform um linda is saying sad and funny with an amazing dog worth a watch um is that afterlife oh so yeah that does sound like um I'm obviously just connecting the film title now, Linda, with you saying sad and funny with an amazing dog. So I'll definitely have a little uh, download of that series. We're getting lots of likes on Facebook. Why are you all liking, guys? Is it just one person who just likes this slimmer face? Is this why you're clicking the like button? Or do you like Afterlife or the platform, the idea of uh, starving to death? Oh, dear. And the end of the film, by the way, I shouldn't really tell you the ending, but for those of you who... It's got a weird ending. I won't tell you the ending, but the they basically said, the, the film producer said, they, they left the ending so it can be up to the viewer that decided what happens at the end. 
and I know people don't like films like that because you'll never know what happens in the end but it basically said it's your interpretation to to find out what's happening I just say it also about my weight loss um, I don't know why but my my face is really not thinning down this time uh, for those of you who know that I lost weight not this summer but the summer before when I got to 16 stone my face went really thin so I'm not sure why my face is not going thinner this time. I think it's because I'm doing um, the exercise. For those of you who've seen my uh, exercise, I've been doing loads of biking and stuff like that. So I really feel my hips and my thighs are really slimming down much more than my face and other areas. So um, I've had a whole new clothes size, guys, which is quite exciting. So I've been going on Sports Direct and I've ordered loads of stuff ready so when I start teaching again it's going to be quite exciting right what time is it let's have a quick time check as i said we're waiting for uh, quarter past seven uh, so we've got another 10 minutes or so so this is your last chance guys if you've got any questions then please feel free to ask on this open question session uh, a quick shout out to two of my slimmers so liz lost um seven pounds this week in the last four weeks she didn't have any scales at home and she normally um weighs at work where she works in the hospital but obviously with everything happening she hasn't really had time to weigh herself um but yes she's lost seven pounds in the last four weeks so i'm really pleased with that um, and to combine with that also my slimmer helen who's in mackworth um, I'll tell you a little story about Helen in a minute, but she lost a pound and a half this week. So um, obviously most people have stayed the same or put on a little bit because it's been Easter. But I just wanted to say a big shout out to those two because that really is amazing. And again, somebody on Facebook is clicking that like button hundreds of times. Thank you. Um, to tell you a little bit about Helen, she, why she is being successful at this time is a little bit about me like the same as me because she is older she's got grandkids she's also got a friend as well that comes around for a tea every night and because she's now self-isolating now she's not having to cook three different meals one for her a healthy one for her one for the kids and also one for her, her friend janet so this is why uh, she is doing so well. I've just noticed that I've got loads of people on Facebook. I'm not answering any of the questions. Sorry. I haven't seen these questions coming through. <laughs> I wondered why uh, nobody was saying anything. Uh, so just say a quick hello to those on Facebook Live. So hi Charlotte. Hi Jane. Hi Alison. Hi Lorraine. Uh, Tracy is saying trying to get 10,000 steps in through a walkout and a disco. Is it enough? Yes Tracy. Uh, my mum only does 5,000, so 10,000, if you can do that, that is great. My personally, if I go over 10,000, my ankles start to hurt. So um, if you are still overweight, don't overdo it, guys. 10,000 is definitely enough. Uh, Lorraine says, hi, Jodie. What was your motivation to change? It's a big question, Lorraine. So the if you look back to 31 stones, what was my motivation to change then was I split up with Raylene, the father of my daughter, um, and started working in television. So this was my, my motivation to change then, was just the end of that life and moving on to my future. So that was my initial change. Coupled with the fact that me and my uh, ex fiance just had a child as well, so she was the biggest motivation initially to change but then logistically the fact that I was moving out was the you know the real motivation that led to um, losing the weight just getting more active welcome Jane hi Neil hi Michelle hi Lucy hi Kelly hi Stacy hi Pat Lorraine looking fab not seen you since Valentine's yes oh Lorraine I do miss Valentine's any of you haven't been to Valentine's in Burton on Trent it is a lovely swimming pool in there because you've got literally the daylight coming through. Um, just say hello to Sue. Hi, Lisa. Hi to the second Lisa. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Raj. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Mel. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Jill. Hi, Janice. Hi, Mel. Waving hand. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Maggie. Um, 
<coughs> Mel is saying yesterday, the Beatles film. Yes, I've seen that at the cinema. Is amazing. I really loved that one. Uh, hi, Marianne. Ali, what was the first thing you will do after lockdown will open? The first thing I will do after lockdown will open. I actually really feel like going on a little holiday to Egypt. So I do feel like I know going in a confined space on a, a flight is not a good thing. Uh, but I do feel like a little holiday somewhere would be nice. Uh, hi Sue, hi Julia, hi Sarah, hi Nikki, hi Heather, hi Sabrina, hi Lorraine, hi Steve. Uh, Sabrina says, hey there, greetings from empty Egypt. So Sabrina is a guest relations from a hotel uh, in Egypt, one of my former colleagues from Germany. Um, and she's obviously saying that she's from an empty Egypt. Are you still in Haggadah, Sabrina? Uh, what is life like? I can't even imagine what it will be like. I'm sure the beaches and everything are going to be so clean. Hi, Nick. Hi, David. Uh, we've got a question from Marianne. I've discovered my exercise bike, hating every minute of it. <laughs> hating every minute of it, but loving the results. Oh. Uh, Marianne, keep on going. I am actually going to do a little video about home workouts because, you know, there is Joe Wicks, there is my online fitness things, but if you don't like those sorts of things, then just doing seven minutes, seven minutes is what is proven mentally to make you start feeling better about yourself as well. So I'm going to do a little separate tip about this. I might do it tomorrow. So any home equipment, even jogging on the spot, running on the spot, just marching your feet, lifting your knees, squatting, whatever you want to do, just do something just for seven minutes. Um, that seven minutes could be a remix of a song that lasts seven minutes. It could be your favorite song played twice. So just think about in your head what lasts seven minutes and just try and do that every single day. Uh, and going back to Trace's exercise, if you're not up to 10,000 steps, just think about seven minutes uh, because that's obviously an easier and a more sustainable way to exercise every day. Uh, for those of you who don't know understand why seven minutes is so good, it's because it's seven minutes it takes seven minutes for your brain to release those good chemicals that makes you feel good. So this is why it's good to exercise seven minutes or more because it will make you feel good. Right, I've finally got to the end of my questions on uh, Facebook Live. Hi to Jane, who's just joining on Facebook Live. For those of you just joining us, we're doing a dual live video on Instagram and also on Facebook. So if you've got any questions, I am here for another couple of minutes. I'm going to do two more minutes. Hi Anya, welcome to the live video. I'll do a couple more minutes on Instagram Live. Welcome to Russell, welcome to Afif. And welcome to DJ Zo uh, Flow. <laughs> so welcome to Facebook Live and to Instagram Live. It's amazing, isn't it, how the camera on Instagram Live, you look so much better. I don't know what Instagram are doing to make... It didn't say there was a filter. I just look so much nicer on Instagram Live than I do on Facebook. I think it's because of the cameras. Because this one, you're on my uh, MacBook Pro, which is a... Not you know it's a high quality camera, but it's not as good as my Pixel phone, which is a really amazing quality. Um, right, we've got another question from Marianne. Enjoying doing Les Mills Body Balance online. Now this is a good one for those of you who are looking to do some nice workouts at home. Um, Les Mills, who do Body Balance, Body Pump, Body Whatever. Um, are doing a free online subscription at the moment. So if you do want to do some free workouts, just go to Les Mills online. Google that and you will find some great online workouts. Um, I have actually ordered some pump weights as well. So I will be doing my own pump workout because, as I said earlier, my strength training at the moment is on my thighs, which I'm getting from my uh, biking. Uh, but my upper body desperately needs some... Um, work out uh, and for those of you again in my private group I shared uh, on my actually on my Facebook page my pro my public Facebook page uh, NHS have got a how are you questionnaire it's a little quiz a health quiz um, one of the scores that I got was strength training because I'm not doing any strength training whatsoever um, so this is when I ordered the the body pump kit and obviously I will start to do 
some weights. Um, if you haven't done that, it's a really good test. It just checks physically and mentally and um, also nutritionally anything that you can improve in your lifestyle. And it gives you a score out of 10. I scored 8 out of 10. Um, and as I said, strength training was the one thing that I lost two points on. Uh, just Google NHS how are you quiz. So give yourself a little quiz and it will give you some uh, little tips how to improve your health. Welcome Tracy and welcome to Adol. Um, I can't believe I was missing all those questions on Facebook. I am pleased that I've now caught up. So guys, thank you for joining me. If you've got any more questions on Facebook, then feel free to write your questions uh, and then I will reply to you on Instagram. You'll have to message me now because I don't think this saves, does it? But my name has been Jody Bunting. Uh, this is my question and answer because it has gone so well. Why are we still in lockdown? I might start doing this every Sunday evening. So if you haven't got any more questions, uh, I will be answering them next time. And my final plea, I'll say it one more time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Jody Bunting. Click on the subscribe button, it's free, you don't need to do anything. Um, and I just need 28 more people to subscribe and then Google will stop paying me again. So please subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy watching the concert. I'll say goodbye to Instagram first. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, end video um, and then I'll say goodbye to the lovely Facebook viewers guys thank you for joining me as I said feel free to write any more questions and I'll see you again soon bye for now